What's up guys, welcome to your 38th Android app development tutorial. This is again Shrix from SmartHerd. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about screen orientation in Android, right? Now, let's move forward. Now, as an user, we all know that there are two screen orientation. One is portrait and one is landscape, right? Now, suppose we are using our application in the portrait mode and we want to switch to the landscape mode, then in that case, when we switch on to the landscape mode, our app look like this, right? Our layout changes and the landscape layout comes in front of us, right? Now, let us consider the case 2. Now, in this case, if we want to switch to the landscape mode, then in that case, we are not able to do so. In the landscape mode also, the application is still in the portrait mode. It remain as it is. Now, the question arises in the case 2, why don't our screen orientation changed from portrait to landscape as we saw in the case 1, right? Now, let's check out the codes of the manifest file. This is the manifest file codes of the case 1 where the codes look familiar what we saw before, right? Now, in the case 2, the codes are a bit different. We have to add a statement in order to fix the orientation either in fixed portrait mode or in fixed landscape mode. We just have to add a statement in the activity, right? That statement is Android screen orientation equal to portrait. This screen orientation equal to portrait just fixes our screen orientation to a fixed portrait mode. Even if we try to switch on to the landscape mode, our app's screen orientation won't change. Similarly, you can also write screen orientation equal to landscape. In that case, our application will have a fixed orientation of the landscape mode. Now, let us quickly jump onto our Eclipse and show you the codes. Now, here in the Eclipse, I have created an application screen orientation, right? Now, here I am having the main activity, activity main.xml and inside the xml file, I am just having a simple button, right? Now, this is our manifest file. These codes are actually the codes of the case 1. In this case, let's run our application. Here, our app is running and we are presently in the portrait mode. Now, let us press Ctrl plus F11 to switch to the landscape mode, right? In this case, automatically our screen orientation changes and we are able to see our second screen orientation, right? Now, let us do one thing. Let us see our case 2, right? In the case 2, we have to add a statement inside our activity in order to fix our orientation, right? Now, let's type screen orientation portrait, right? Now, let's save the application and run it again. Now, here again, our app is running. Now, let's change our screen orientation to the landscape mode, right? Now, in this case, in our case 2, our screen orientation didn't change because we have fixed our screen orientation to what? Portrait mode. So, even if we change our screen orientation to landscape, the orientation of the screen practically do not change. It is still in the portrait mode, right? But this practice is not at all recommended. It is always recommended make the layout for both the portrait and the landscape mode right? Because generally users don't like to have a fixed screen orientation. They need flexibility for the application use. So in the next tutorial, I will continue my discussion on the screen orientation. This is Shrek from SmartHeart signing off and please subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below my video. Thank you.